Today we'll be going over the best alternatives to Adobe software if you are a graphic designer. In past videos, I went over the best free alternatives, but this video will be a little different because I'll be going over the best overall options, even if they come with the price tag. So if you're a graphic designer and you're looking to get away from Adobe's subscription pricing model and their invasive privacy policy, this video is for you. And since we're focusing on graphic design specifically, we're just gonna be covering Photoshop and Illustrator for this video. Before we get started though, be sure to join my mailing list to receive over 200 free design templates, including logos, icons, avatars, infographics, and more. As a member, you'll be the first to know about new content when it's uploaded, as well as the freebies that I send out each month. I'll have some information about that down below if you wanna check that out. Let's first go over how you can replace Photoshop. As of right now, the best alternative to Photoshop, in my opinion anyway, would be Affinity Photo. Affinity Photo is a one-time purchase, but they offer a six-month free trial if you just want to try it out. Photo is great because it has every tool and feature you would need to effectively replace Photoshop, and it can even open Photoshop PSD files so that you don't have to worry about losing any of your work. It has a nicer and more up-to-date user interface that makes it more pleasant to use, and it even outperforms Photoshop in stability and speed because of how lightweight of an application it is. Photo will run just fine on any modern desktop environment, whereas Photoshop is a bit more demanding in terms of hardware. That said, there are some downsides to using Affinity Photo, so here is what you will be missing out on if you make this switch. For one, Photo doesn't have any of the AI features that Photoshop has. But that's okay, because Photoshop's AI tools are nothing special. There's many free web-based AI image generators and background removers that you can use if you really miss this feature, and all of them are just as good as Photoshop's. In fact, some of them are even better. Another tool you'll miss out on is Photoshop's Content Aware Fill. While Affinity Photo does have an in-painting tool, Photoshop's Content Aware Fill is considerably more powerful and advanced. Finally, Affinity Photo does lack certain bells and whistle features that Photoshop has, like 3D tools, frames for creating animated GIFs, and basic video editing tools. But I wouldn't consider any of this necessary for the average graphic designer, and if it is, there's much better tools that you can use for these things. Another good alternative to Photoshop would be Photop, a web-based photo editor that is nearly identical to Photoshop. It's especially useful if you need to use PSD mock-up templates that were meant for Photoshop but aren't compatible with Affinity Photo. The downside to using Photop is that, because it's a web-based application, it's severely limited in the workload it can handle, so it's better suited for small tasks. That said, if you combine Affinity Photo with Photop, you should have a design stack that can rival and replace Adobe Photoshop. And finally, GIMP is also an honorable mention, although I consider it more of a basic image editor rather than a robust Photoshop alternative. One major downside to using GIMP is that it doesn't perform very well on Mac, which is burdensome because many designers use Mac. Now let's have a look at a good design stack for replacing Adobe Illustrator. At the moment, the most advanced vector editor that isn't Illustrator would be Inkscape a free and open source vector design tool that you are no stranger to if you're subscribed to this channel. Inkscape can do almost everything Illustrator can. It has some of the most advanced tools and features for editing nodes and working with paths. The biggest downside though is that, for one, it's not very stable. It does crash a lot. And it also lacks support for CMYK output, making it unsuitable for print design. But that's where Affinity Designer comes in. Affinity Designer is also a vector editor like Adobe Illustrator and Inkscape, but its vector tools and features aren't as advanced. It's more of an all-in-one design tool because it does have pixel editing abilities as well. What makes Affinity Designer special is that, unlike Inkscape, it can output files in CMYK color format. It's also a more stable application that doesn't crash nearly as often as Inkscape. With these two applications combined, you will be able to replace Illustrator because they both complement each other's shortcomings really well. What Inkscape lacks, Affinity Designer makes up for, and vice versa. The only features from Illustrator that you will miss include Illustrator's AI generator, the 3D tool, and tools for generating charts and graphs. In conclusion, the landscape for design software has changed so much over just the past two years. And now that Serif, the company that makes the Affinity apps, has been acquired by Canva, one can only assume that things are only going to ramp up even more. 
Gone are the days where you need a Creative Cloud subscription to enjoy a modern and advanced design experience. In fact, if I didn't have another channel where I make Adobe tutorials, I probably would have cancelled my subscription long ago. That should do it for today's video. Leave a comment below letting me know your thoughts, and as always, thanks for watching.